Alibaba Group Holding Limited, which powers 80% of all online commerce in the world's second largest economy, is expected to raise more than $15 billion and could drop the $16 billion pooled in by Facebook Inc. when it listed in 2012. And the bulk of the proceeds will go to Yahoo Inc which bought a 40% stake in Alibaba in 2005 for $1 billion and which must sell more than a third of its current 22.6% stake through the IPO. Alibaba also plans to sell new shares, people familiar with the plans have said, to bulk up a cash war chest depleted by a rash of recent acquisitions. And while the Alibaba brand is less well known in the United States than internet companies such as Amazon.com and Facebook, the Chinese company's listing has stirred the most excitement in Silicon Valley and Wall Street since Facebook's record IPO. Alibaba will become the largest Chinese corporation to list in the U.S., on either the New York Stock Exchange or the Nasdaq. And Alibaba will debut later this year in a market where high-flying tech stocks like Twitter and Amazon have fallen in recent weeks in a sell-off that has divided analysts and investors, reviving doubts about soaring tech valuations. And still, estimates of Alibaba's market value have soared in recent months, to even beyond $200 billion underscoring Wall Street's eagerness to take a crack at a massive Chinese company with robust growth. And Alibaba handled more than 1.5 trillion yuan, about $248 billion, of transactions for 231 million active users across its three main Chinese online marketplaces in 2013, more than Amazon and eBay combined. It did so with 20,884 full-time workers, fewer than eBay. And, if it's able to transport that kind of power to outside China, it has the potential to become a true global e-commerce powerhouse, said Roger Entner, lead analyst and founder of Recon Analytics. Everybody thought Amazon could do it, but now we have to rethink Amazon in the light of being the most successful company in that field in the US, but not in the world. And Alibaba did not give any hints in its IPO prospectus about potential plans for the U.S. e-commerce market. Analysts said it was unlikely Alibaba would adopt the model favored by Amazon, which sells goods directly to consumers using a sprawling network of warehouses. NAT leased 102 years and Alibaba, founded 15 years ago in a one-room apartment in Hangzhou and controlled by a 28-member partnership boasts of building a company that will last at least 102 years. And after the IPO, Alibaba said the partnership will have the exclusive right to nominate a simple majority of the members of its board of directors. And Alibaba operates an online messaging service as well as a cloud computing business, but more than 80% of its revenue comes from its Daobaochmal and Zhuazhuan online marketplaces. Top items sold on Taobao include prepaid phone and game cards as well as lottery tickets, home furniture and baby products, the company said. And total revenue increased 62% to 18.75 billion yuan, $3.01 billion, in October-December of 2013 from a year earlier, while net income more than doubled to 8.27 billion yuan according to the prospectus. And some analysts say Alibaba's rapid pace of revenue growth may be unsustainable. And they got into the e-commerce space when there aren't any other players in China, said Forrester analyst Kellen Willis, adding Alibaba has been losing market share year over year. And by 2020, online retail sales in China will reach $420 minus $650 billion as much as the United States. Japanese, UK, German and French markets combined, according to a recent analysis by McKinsey Global Institute. And Mobile Future and Alibaba said China's mobile internet arena where it is battling tents and holdings for supremacy is the next growth industry. China will have an estimated 750 million mobile internet users by 2017 according to data from China-based consultancy iResearch. And roughly one-fifth of all purchases in the last quarter of 2013 were made on mobile devices, up from 7.4% a year earlier. But Alibaba added that for now these sales were less profitable than those made on its website. And already this year, 
Ma has been involved in acquisitions worth more than $3.50 billion, buying a stake and department store operator in China and majority shareholding in movie producer ChinaVision Media, control of online mapping firm Autonavi a stake in China's Mojo Media Holding Co. Limited for online content and internet TV, and a stake in Yakult Chudu Inc., an online video business akin to Google Inc.'s YouTube. And Alibaba is also launching a U.S. e-commerce website, 11 Main, and has taken stakes in U.S. retail site Shapruner Inc., Lyft, a U.S. ride-sharing service, and One Stibs, an online marketplace for antiques and luxuries. And also this year, Ma has set up a charitable trust estimated to be worth $3 billion, potentially Asia's biggest, focusing on the environment and health. It's impossible for me to be a doctor, but I can have my own way to save lives, Xinhua quoted Ma as saying. An ownership and risks and some analysts have pointed to a less than transparent decision-making process after Alibaba spun off fast-growing Alipay in 2010, a move that caused consternation at major shareholders Yahoo and Japanese telecoms firm SoftBank Corporation and Alibaba's prospectus also laid out a raft of regulatory risks it faces at home. The company stressed that Beijing could impose additional restrictions on the use of Alipay, the payment service that powers the majority of its online transactions. And unlike many prominent U.S. tech IPOs of recent years, Alibaba's list of significant shareholders is short. By contrast, Facebook and Twitter each broke out shareholdings from more than a half dozen individual principal shareholders. And former English school teacher and lead founder Jack Ma owns 8.9% of Alibaba. Joseph Tsai, a co-founder and executive vice chairman, is the only other individual with a disclosed shareholding of 3.6%. Yahoo and SoftBank, respectively, own 22.6% and 34.4% of Alibaba on a fully diluted basis. And the proposed IPO of $1 billion in the filing is an estimate for calculating exchange registration fees. And fair value in Alibaba estimated its fair value as of this month could reach $50 per share, an increase of more than six times from the $8 a share value estimated in June 2011, according to the prospectus. This calculation helps determine employee compensation and does not necessarily represent a likely IPO price. And at the most recent fair value estimate, Yahoo's stake in Alibaba is worth $26.20 billion and SoftBank's almost $40 billion. Ma's stake would be worth $10.30 billion. And the fair value estimate puts Alibaba's size at $116.10 billion well below the $152 billion average from 25 analysts in a Reuters survey. And while Yahoo and SoftBank may be among the biggest beneficiaries of the IPO, neither will exercise much control of Alibaba. It has already been agreed that Yahoo Chief Development Officer Jacqueline Resses will resign from Alibaba's board upon the listing, while SoftBank will have the right to nominate just a single director to a new, nine-member board. And Alibaba's decision to list in the United States was a blow to the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, which was initially its preferred IPO venue, but the city's regulators balked at any potential violation of the one-share-one-vote principle. And Citigroup, Credit Suisse, Norge Bank, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, and Morgan Stanley will underwrite the Alibaba IPO. N, $1 equals 6.2257 Chinese yuan N, additional reporting by Jerry Shi, Sarah McBride, Deepa C. The Raymond and Nicola Lesk in New York and LZ Obaretto in Hong Kong, writing by Edwin Chan, editing by Alden Bentley, and Ruhe in Yang